So I've got five points. And I've uh, got the talking stick. <laughs> what am I supposed to talk about? What about this weather we've been having? Do I have to talk for the whole five minutes? Mom's annoying. There's that. She keeps reminding me to take my pills, like, in the middle of the day when I don't need remindings. I take them with breakfast and before breakfast and before bed. Oh, it's fine. She's just worried. She's been schmitzing ever since I was diagnosed, but it's her own fault. She got onto Wikipedia the other day, and there's all sorts of graphical photos of medical shit on there. She told me she was just going to look up my prescriptions, but then she started clicking on all these other conditions and diseases. You know what? I had that, like list of side effects, yeah. and then they have all these horrible pictures of like gangrene of, I don't even know, eczema. By the time I got back from school, she was reading up on compound fractures and knew all of the statistical information on the relationship between the credit card swap in Iceland and the financial crisis, and I was like, you nerd, Wikipedia owns. Then she started crying. I told her not to cry, because it's not like it's fatal, and there's really effective medicine now, and I might not even need one of those colostomy bags for like 10 years anyway. And she started crying even more, but I don't know why she was crying. I'm the one who's going to end up shitting in a bag. Like I said, she's a total nerd. Hey, On Saturday last week, I couldn't get to sleep because the pain was pretty bad and I couldn't keep my coating down. So my dad just sat next to me on the couch and recited all of the American presidents. In order. <laughs> From memory. <laughs> oh, he knows the numbers too. Grover Cleveland was both number 22 and 24 because he served in all consecutive terms. <laughs> I think my dad just wanted to talk about stuff, but he didn't know what to say, so he just talked. Before he went up to bed, he patted me on the shoulder and said Franklin Roosevelt was elected president three times and he was a proper cripple. Oh, and Franklin Roosevelt was number 32. Do I have to talk about my feelings? I don't know. I'm good. I feel good. My feelings about being sick. I don't really have any feelings about being sick, but I have thought of a slogan for you guys if you'd like to hear it. <laughs> Chromes and colitis America, life shit and then you die. <laughs> I want about schizophrenia too. All my friends keep telling me I'm crazy. <laughs> it's, uh, it's not funny. <laughs> Maybe it should be all our friends keep telling us we're crazy. People with epilepsy are pretty funny. Maybe next time we could mix this whole thing up a bit. We could invite people who've got like other things stuffed up for them and then we could all have a chat and maybe we feel better because, you know, I mean, yesterday I was a bit sad because I really wanted to go to Cambodia, but now I can't get travel insurance. But, you know, I mean, if we had epileptic people here, maybe I'd feel better because at least I can go to a festival if I ever started liking dubstep music. <laughs> and, you know, maybe they'd feel better too because, let's face it, we're revolting. Maybe I can swap diseases with an epileptic who likes toilets and dancing. <laughs> you said before that there isn't anything that's too stupid to share with the group, so... <clears throat> I'm just gonna say it. And you're all gonna think I'm nuts, but I've got talking stick, so you can all go get stuffed. <laughs> it was like eight weeks ago, just after I found out. The day after I got my endoscopy it was, which, by the way, when I woke up hurt like I'd been deep throwing a fucking screwdriver. What was I saying? Oh, right. It was just after I found out about and I was walking home from the bus stop slowly, because I was tired, 
And I started to feel this weird sensation in my foot, like something was in there. So I sat down on a wall and I took off my right shoe and I shook it, but nothing came out. And it was weird because there was nothing in my shoe, but there was a rock in my foot, like inside, under the skin, like underneath the sole of my right foot. And what was strange about this rock, if it makes sense for me to just one strange thing about a rock just hanging out beside your foot, is that it was, it was perfectly round, like it's like a small marble just trapped beneath the surface of my skin. It was small that day, it started out small. It's bigger now, like, a, like the size of a golf ball, but smooth, not dimpled. I can show you, you can touch it if you like. That's gross. <coughs> like, you think I'd worry about it, but I'm not worried. I like it. Every time my right foot hits the ground, I feel it roll slightly under the skin against the bone, like a, it's like a hinge or a wheel. I take a step and it slips, and so I take another step and it slips again, and then the little stone speaks to me. Keep going, it says, so I step and it slips, and keep going, and I keep going, and is that weird? <laughs> Actually, I don't even care if that's weird, stuff weird. You see, they told me I'd be getting sick, but actually, I'm just getting awesome. <laughs> sure, I'm anemic, and I'm tired, and I can't get much sleep, because every time I lie down, I throw up. I've got a bucket beside my bed. I don't even bother getting up to brush my teeth after anymore because it'll just happen again. The other night, I threw up so much that the bile I was spewing turned bright yellow like a highlighter. And then it turned pink with blood. But my dad says that from a distance, it sounds a bit like I'm laughing when I vomit, so. <laughs> Look. I know my immune system's too strong and it's making my body try to eat itself, sure, but... What if it isn't? You know? Like, what if they're wrong? What if they're all wrong? What if I'm different? <laughs> 